Welcome to a new perspective with your sister Leslie Roberts. Come on in, come on in and take a seat and let's talk. We have been going over the family issues. Yes, we have. And I went into my living room because we all have elephants sometimes in our living room that we just deal with. But now I'm outside on the front porch. And the reason why I'm outside on the front porch is because the issues that I will be discussing today, we want to release them and we want to release them in the yard. We will, do not, I say again, we do not want to take this in the house with us because these things destroy a family unit tremendously, okay? You hear what I say, tremendously. So let's talk about it. The new perspective that I come to offer you today is to change your poverty mentality. Yes, if you have a poverty mentality, I am here to interrupt that pattern because it's destroying your families. Number one, you know that you have a poverty, poverty mentality if you blame everyone else. You never accept responsibility. Everyone else is to blame for something that's gone wrong in your world. You put the blame, you point the fingers, it's them, it's that person, but it's never where you take a look in the mirror and you deal with yourself. That's poverty mentality. Number two, you complain all the time. Nothing is ever right. You're always complaining. Every time someone calls you, every time you call someone, you're complaining. Um, you don't see anything positive through your lens. That's a poverty mentality. Number three, you know it all. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Can't nobody tell you nothing. That's a poverty mentality. You have got to always stay in a student position. As a leader, leaders, the best leaders are always students. We never stop learning. You heard me? You never stop learning. Um, nobody can tell you nothing. You're just hot-headed. Come on off of that. That's a poverty mentality. Number four, you're jealous. You have some jealousy about yourself towards anybody who's doing anything more than you when you could be doing it yourself. So that jealousy spirit, you need to go back and see if it stemmed from childhood when you were jealous of your sister, jealous of your brother. Sometimes we have legitimate reasons to be jealous because mom chose someone, another sibling over us. But when you get to be an adult, you have to deal with that jealousy because if it's in you, it's around you and it's spewing out of you into all your relationships. And that is a poverty mentality. Number five, you justify everything. You justify everything. All your situations are justified. You had no parts in doing anything wrong. Nobody did anything wrong. They did everything wrong to you. That is a poverty mentality. Um, and number six, well, before I get to number six, number five about justifying, justifies never look in the mirror and apologize. I want to talk to the parents right now. If you have never apologized to your children, guess what? You're going to reap a harvest where they get older and they come out of your home and they have some discomfort issues with you, some unsettled problems with you. So don't be that person who just can never j just give up in an apology. It's okay to be apologetic sometimes. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Say you're wrong. Be the first to admit that you're wrong. Um, because everything happens with reaping and sowing. And if jealousy is inside, is coming out, and it's all over the relationships in your life. Number six, you feel like you can do it alone. Independent attitude, afraid to ask for help. That's the level of pride. We can call it what we want, but it's pride. These are all signs, six signs of self-pity, self-indulgence that all stems under selfishness. So the new perspective today is come out of yourself. Look at this list. See where you identify with it and look in the mirror and change it. Have a great day. Change your mind, change your world. See you later.